In the last part, we created our first table using a data model and migration. As we progress with our app, we are going to need to modify the database schema, which means we are going to create a lot of other tables, meaning we are going to also have to create a lot of other data models. Now, as you can imagine, the current project is going to get crowded. Now, it's a good practice to keep all the database related data in a separate project. And that is what we are going to do on this part. So let's go to Visual Studio. In here, I'll just go to Solution. And then I'm just going to right click on the solution, then go to Add. We're going to add a new project. Search for Class and select the Class Library Project Template. Then click Next. We are going to define a name and we are going to name this project the circle app dot data. Then next, we're going to use the latest framework in here and then create. Now we did create the project, so let us just remove the default class. And then we are going to bring to this project the data folder. So we're going to bring the models and also the AppDB context. So let us just drag and drop the AppDB context in this project. And then let us also drag and drop the models. So now we have the AppDB context. And we can see that it is in the circle app.data. And inside the models, we also have the post, which is in circle app.data models. Now let us just go and remove the data folder from here. Let us also drag and drop the migrations to here. If we open the AppDB context, we are going to see that we have some errors and that's right because in this project we have not installed the entity framework core. So let us just go in here. Right click to dependencies, then manage NuGet packages. Or you can just go to tools, then NuGet package manager, and then manage NuGet packages for solution. Here we have the entity framework core. Let us install the SQL server to the circle app.data. And let us also install the tools. Then accept. Let us also install the main package, which is the entity framework core. And now let us just go to the errors and try to fix them. Open this one. We see that we have an error and that's right because circle app data folder has been removed. Now we want to have a way to reference the app DB context, but since the app DB context belongs now to a totally different project, what we need to do is that we need to reference this project in the circle app project. So let us go to the dependencies, right click in here, add project reference, and then select the circle app.data and then click OK. Now let us go back to the program.cs. Let us hover the mouse in here. And now you can see that we can use the circle app.data. Let us save all the changes. Let us build and then build solution. We can see that now the build was successful and it was for two projects, which means that everything worked as expected. And here we have a warning and this warning is basically saying that you are trying to set to a string a value that can be nullable. And what this means is that if this tries to go and get the default data from the app settings.json file, but it doesn't find it there, then it's going to return now. But the string in here is not nullable. What you can do is that you can either make the string in here nullable, or you can just define in here that if this first part is null, then double question marks set the value empty string. Or you can just remove this part, type in here var, and that's it. So you have three different solutions that you can use in here. Now let us save all the changes. What I'm going to do is that I'll just go to the post. And then in here, I'm just going to change the post ID to just ID. And 
I want to do this just so I can see if the migration setup is going to work as expected. So I'll just change this to ID. And then to pass this change from here to the database, we need a migration. So let us go to the package manager console. And then in here, add dash migration. And then name is going to be changed post ID to ID and then press enter. We can see that we have an error which says that your target project circle app doesn't match your migrations assembly circle app dot data. And that's right because the app DB context file now is not in the circle app project, but it's in the circle app dot data. What that means is that in here, you need to change this from circle app to circle app data and then try to add a migration. You can see that the file was created and it is just going to rename a column from post ID to ID in the post table. The next, just update database. It was successful. Let us go to our database. Just by clicking here, refresh. You can see that the post has now the ID column, not the post ID. And if you open the migrations history table, so right click, then go to show table data. You are going to see that in here now we have two migrations. The first one was the initial and the second one was the changed post ID to ID. Now this is all for this part. On the next one, we are going to set up the app so you can create the first post.